Hello! <laughs> g'day, g'day! How is everyone? My name's Belinda. If you're new here, welcome. Hello to uh, Pamela, Lulu, Robin, Michelle, Pam. Welcome, my lovelies. Happy Halloween to you guys in the US. <laughs> Shadow, hello. Mum. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Yes, Deb. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> food is good food is good <laughs> so um guys i'm like a day behind now because or a stream behind because i was supposed to do the a letter of the alphabet today but i didn't get to stream on friday i was going to do this on friday but um we lost power and we had a really big storm so um things were kind of messy <laughs> oh you just finished it Barbara awesome <laughs> hi Eva welcome hi Thornta welcome hi Claudia welcome uh, so the lovely uh, Kevin contacted me and asked me to do uh, a review uh, for he, of his book and a and, uh, I guess a, an advertisement of his book <laughs> so I did actually receive this uh, for free from him so thank you so much to him uh, for this awesome gift this is mysterious faces uh, he has two others manga one and two uh, so there are two others and this one's also available as a PDF uh, which you know me, me guys I'd prefer PDFs because I end up printing them like this anyway <laughs> Um, the books are printed through Amazon, so this one was actually printed uh, in Amazon New South Wales. Uh, so it's Amazon paper. Uh, if people say it's Amazon paper, what does it actually mean? It means it's photocopy paper, basically. In fact, sometimes it's thinner than photocopy paper. But uh, So the paper quality in the books isn't extravagant, and uh, you may have trouble colouring it with... A few mediums if you are going to color it in the book I would suggest something firmer like polychromos um, you'll get nice color then <laughs> welcome guys welcome uh, I would go Etsy <laughs> only because I like PDF better <laughs> um, I actually love Selena Phoenix Grayscale uh, coloring pages. I have a lot of her books, actually. Physical books. Uh, there was a sale and I got a whole heap of them. So, But anyway, let's look at this. So I've actually done. How cool is this? I've already colored a few images from the book. <laughs> so this one was with... Oh, my color is really washed out on there. I should have, uh, I should have just stuck the digital ones up. <laughs> I've done this one and this one, and we did this one on a live stream, which was Copic and some pastel in the watercolor background. Very pretty. And these are all in the book. And today I'm going to do this one with watercolor. So it's, uh, it's on, I've printed it on, I'm just going to get rid of that kind of yellow look a little bit there. A little bit better. I've printed it on watercolour paper for today, so uh, I will stick it to my board later. But uh, let's go through the, the book first, shall we? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I 
Now look, you know what? It's it's it allows the Amazon paper. It's not great, but it allows coloring book artists out there that don't have publishers uh, to be able to produce a book like this for you guys. So, you know what? Sometimes it's it's a catch twenty two, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Uh, I'm not very good with French, but salut. Is that right? Salut. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> um. So yeah. So it, it's awesome. It, it allows those. Uh, <laughs> it allows coloring book artists to be able to send and give out a, a book without having to chase up a publisher and things like that. So it's actually, uh, essentially, it, it's a lot cheaper and uh, easier to get things out, which is good. It means that we get to see them but as i said it's available in a pdf as well so make sure you uh you check it out here as well now i've posted two links uh one is amazon and the other one is the etsy link so go check them out and check out the newest book which was as i said uh manga 2 manga 2 i don't think that's a pdf yet though i think that's only available like this so um yeah, so for a, a fairly new to the scene artist, doing very well there, Kevin. <laughs> As I said, I've done three already, so I'm going to do the flip through and then we're going to colour this one. So let's do that first. It is in French. Uh, so it's just something if you can speak French, lucky you. <laughs> That's right, Patty, and hello, I do the same. I always, always print on my own paper anyway. Oh, good, Barbara, thank you. Amazing. Oh, that's the first one I did. Yay, it's the first page. <laughs> Uh, today's actually I was debating today between this one and this one I decided to do this one but uh, this one's really pretty too and I think if I was going to do this one I think I'd stick with the same kind of color theme I've done here match them all up and uh, hang them on the wall maybe as a set that would be cool <laughs> uh, oh, look a little baby dragon Very cute little fairies here. I love the grayscale too. <laughs> Mona, you're on time. Yay! This is also one on my list uh, that I quite liked. This is really sweet. I love this one. There's actually one called Bella too. How cool is that? <laughs> we'll get there. She's awesome. Such a big choice. There's Bella. <laughs> you love them all. <laughs> now he's pretty cool. Some sort of mermaid there. Attila. This is another one that I did not long ago. This is awesome, this one. I like this one too. Very nice. Lovely pictures. <laughs> I love them all, says Rona. I love them all. <laughs> Hi Marie, welcome. This is cute, this one. I love the little... <laughs> is that a raccoon? I don't know. We don't have those animals here. so <laughs> Very cute though. And this one. Oh, look. It's a baby wolf. <laughs> Very cute. Hi Dorothy, welcome. I've seen a few people colour this one. How cute is that? 
she's a puzzle a bit like me I'm a bit of a puzzle sometimes <laughs> Kinsey very nice this one's lovely too isn't it a cicada I love cicadas they're so pretty very noisy but pretty <laughs> The blossom one that I'm going to do today. Sawako? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing names. You know that, right? <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Welcome. This one's lovely, too. I actually brought uh, the PDFs of this one and this one, a couple of others, before I got the book. So I have them already in PDF. Yay! Shell, hello! Happy Halloween to you! Joanna, hello! Welcome! <laughs> oh, look, a rose! You too, Barbara? I know. I'm not sure, Patty. Uh, and there's some bonus images. So all of those ones I just showed are in on the front page here. And then they sneakily added some more at the back, which 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 is cool. It means extra for you guys. <laughs> um, and this is the one. Some of the ones I've coloured already. This cutie, Debbie. Actually, he's very cute. I like it. <laughs> Lisa. Yes, it is, Dorothy. Uh, let me just post it up again. Uh, the link is in the chat there. Nightbot has uh, given it. Make sure you're in a live chat too so that you not don't lose that post. Uh, but you can get it in PDF and you can also get it on Amazon. The uh, the newest book, I think Manga 2 is not on Etsy yet. Well, when I last looked, it wasn't. Um, it's still only on Amazon, but I'm sure it's coming out in PDF. Yeah, Kevin? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> Mike, he's cool. Oh, awesome. Sherry, well done. I'll have to have a look at it. I like her too. She's got a lot of attitude. <laughs> Give me that face. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like, hmm. I don't want you to take a photo of me today. <laughs> ah, good Eva. Thank you for joining. And that's it. Hey, this one's cool. I don't remember seeing this one. The cat, the cat with the steampunk kind of glasses. And there's a link there for the other books as well. And the PDF on Etsy. And I can't read French, so who knows what the rest of that says. Follow on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, no! <laughs> the enabler has come out again. She's been in hiding. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful book by Kevin Teo. Teo? Is it Teo or Teo? I'm not sure. We'll say, I think it's Teo. It's probably pronounced com com completely different because, you know. Oh, hello, Nani. Anyhow, it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for sending that to me. Um, and I have enjoyed uh, already uh, quite a few of them. <laughs> so these two are matching. Uh, I made them similar colours so I could put them up. We'll face them together. So I could put them up on the on, on as a as a feature. I can frame them. I haven't, but I can. <laughs> Again, I'm popping the link up here in the chat. So if you want to grab it, go grab it.
<laughs> there you go. It's there again. I just posted it up again. Yeah, Kevin's here in chat. Um, he was here. He's going to try and stay up. It's very late there, so... <laughs> he was here earlier. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Shall we colour? Now, I, I, I've got watercolour, I think. So, um... I might just stick it to this board. No, no, this board's got... Yeah, we'll just stick it to this one. Stick it to me! <laughs> uh, Fr I, he's French, so I don't know where he's from. Uh, maybe he can, he can comment. <laughs> I don't know! Just try and. Well, that's not going to be perfect, but we'll give it a go, hey? I'm going to use this painter's tape and just tape it down. I don't know what watercolour I'm going to use yet, but it's printed on watercolour paper, so that's it. We're stuck with it. <laughs> We're stuck with it. Uh oh. Tape's too wide for this bottom section. I have no cam today either. He's working. He's out there. Earning some money. <laughs> I need that money. <laughs> ah, we're all finally out of lockdown here in, in uh, Victoria, Australia. It has been... One stressful few months, that's for sure. I should say two years. Um, there's still lots of stuff that uh, is still yet to be sorted out by people's in charge. But, you know, we're out of lockdown, so that's good. We can actually go for a drive and I can see family. It's been so good. We got to see my dad. Got to see Cam's mum. Uh... We haven't seen them all forever. I got to see my bestie. <laughs> and you know what we did? We ended up staying in and watching movies. <laughs> Yay, freedom! All right, so you've been waiting to get these pages. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I just use painter's tape. Uh, this is one we get here from our hardware store. Um, it's got, it's called painter's tape. It's low tack, so uh, it's less likely to peel off other paint underneath it. Uh, so they use it for like covering eaves and things like that when they're painting so uh, they don't peel off the paint off the eaves and things. So, um, and the, you know, skirting boards and things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's low tack, but Sometimes I have trouble getting it off, as we can see with my previous one that I did. I actually got a little bit of a tear here. Look, can you see there's a bit of a tear? Uh, because I didn't use the heat gun to pull <laughs> the tape off. So the heat gun just uh, just heats up the tape a little bit. It just makes it easier to peel off. So It does. We're going to do the background. So what should I use? What I mean, here I am saying I'll use watercolour, but I have no idea what what watercolour to use. I might use ink tents. Although, you know, I have a set of uh, museums that lovely Melody gave me a couple of years ago now. Um, which are also lovely. The colours are lovely in that. How about we do a vote? Ink tents, museums, tombos. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's vote. <laughs> Let's vote. I don't have enough of the Neo colors. I only have uh, a small set of Neo colors. I do have Arteza brush pens too, but I don't like them as much as the Tombos. <laughs> we got some that I didn't even mention. Karen. Oh yeah, I have Karen brush markers. Well, now I can pick them all up off the floor for me. Because, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I dropped them all over the floor. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thanks, Sherry. You went to buy the book. Woohoo! Congratulations! <laughs> they brought the book. <laughs> Ink text at Elbrick Jura. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to get it too. Ah, uh, no worries, Shell. No worries, Tombos. <laughs> Tombo. I've got three for Tombo so far. <laughs> I got two for Elbrick. I don't know how to say it. Jura. Jura. <laughs> I've got three for Tumbo. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Welcome. <laughs> Night, Shell. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. It's going to be Tombo's. Are we going? Yep. And another one. <laughs> Tumbo, all right, cool. Tumbos are quite affordable, and a lot of people don't use them as watercolor, but I love them as watercolor. <laughs> Faber Castell, El Elbrick Dura. <laughs> we're still Tumbo is ahead, so excuse me, we're gonna go Tumbos. There's some nice colors in the Tumbos too, and we're doing cherry blossoms. So um, I actually downloaded a couple of pictures this morning of cherry blossoms so I could have a little bit of color reference because I was like hmm I know they're pink pink is good uh, but you know I probably should have a look at, at at what else is involved so light pinks oh goodness I didn't download them very big did I <laughs> light pinks dark pinks all right, well, what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of sky first. I'll just read the numbers out. Yeah. Tombos are brush pen markers and they're, they, they're designed for brush lettering and things like that, but... I love them as watercolors and I accidentally found out that they were awesome with water when I was doing a um, Anastasia Caldera image I was doing something and I dropped some water and, I, and, it, and it just sort of went like all over it it was absolutely beautiful and I went oh, wow that was such an awesome surprise <laughs> um, so yes, it was awesome. I got a couple of colours here. I'm going to start with some uh, 553, which is called Mist Purple. And uh, I'm just going to give it a bit of a scribble up here. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> I believe <laughs> that she should have some sky so I'm just gonna screw oh paper wait wait do you want to know what paper I used because that would be handy the Tombos are excellent on this paper Canson watercolor paper this is just cold press the cheaper of them this is a 300 gsm i like it some people can't get it through their printer i don't know if it comes in a lighter weight or not i usually print on the smooth side so the front side usually rough and the back is usually smooth so i usually print it on the back side of the paper to um i don't like the watercolor -y kind of look so i don't know it's just a thing <laughs> It's just a thing. I'm trying to find my links here. I'm pretty sure there is a link under Canson, exclamation mark Canson. In case you're wondering. Hi, Tara Lynn, welcome. Here we go. All right, did it come up? Yep, there it is. 
Ooh, hot press would work well too. If you're going to use, if you're not sure, uh, use a pellet um, or a piece of plastic, a nice smooth bit of plastic uh, to scribble on first and don't do it directly on the page because uh, some don't, don't, oh, okay, it looks like I'm putting a bit of dark colour in here too. My bad. Uh, 569, this is called Jet Blue. I'm just going to add a couple of things of it there. Let's just see how that comes out first. Um, I'm going to add some pinks in the background, so I don't want to do it all blue. I got some, I don't know if I want to use that one. I'm using my big brush. I'm using a Princeton round brush, number 12. Um, I got it from a cheap, from, actually I got it from Spotlight here in Australia. I'm just gonna make the background. Here. Oh, look at that. Plenty of water on there. Get all the way down. I like these brushes. Uh, they're kind of a little bit firmer than some watercolor brushes, and uh, it allows me to sort of scratch. <laughs> I say scratch. But it is. It's kind of like scratching up the colour on the page so that you don't get the lines through there. I'm just going to collect some of that. And the edge there. And uh, I've just got a whole heap of colour on my tape there. I'm just going to bring that over here. Push it in over there. I'm not too worried about getting it on the actual blossoms because I'm going to come back in with colour anyway. So it'll get uh, re re wet and uh, recolored. So. very light. It's very light. I'm going to add some uh, 401. 401 Aqua. Aqua. I'm going to actually put this on my palette. I'm going to collect it with my brush. And just add a little bit of this in there as well. My camera's not showing colour very well today. That's alright. It's there. You'll be able to see it once I, uh, I do a bit of a photo of it. You can see it. Hi, Daniela. Welcome. What are we talking about? What challenge period? What? Hang on. Uh, Sherry, I'm not sure what you're talking about here. Now I need... Now I want to do this one. We'll have to get some more Tombo. Sorry, Pamela. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a bit of purple, a bit of blue uh, through here. And um, I didn't actually push that all the way down here, but I think I might need to. I'm going to go with that aqua. Aqua again, which was uh, 401. Uh, also, for lovely patrons here, 
Uh, Alicia is writing down the colours. I hope she is. <laughs> she didn't go back to sleep. Um, down. So we should be able to do a list for patrons as well. She's uh, actually back to work because, you know, everything's open again now. Luckily, uh, my son's finished year 11 now, so he's home today as well. Come out of lockdown and they go on holidays. My goodness, we actually have a holiday here tomorrow. It's public holiday. It's Melbourne Cup Day. Yeah. Awesome, JD. Thank you. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Welcome. <laughs> Meow. Her shadow. All right, let's add some pink. Uh, seven, six, one. If I can find it. Or not. There it is. Cherry blossom. No, it's called carnation. And I'm going to put it on here because the back of the page is wet already. No, I'm just going to. I don't know, wet my brush, I guess, and put some uh, blotches on the page. I'm just roughly doing this too, adding some into the flowers. Wow. Bit more on there. So this was number uh, 761. Wow, says Shadow. Wow. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me. Meow. Da 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 da. light pink and I think I'll do pink and red today I think I'll give her a red or blue actually I could do blue too thinking red though well as much as I can do red with watercolor it doesn't come out too uh, bright when you're mixing water with it do -do -do -do. those bigger flowers up here I might just actually color them with a little bit of the still using 761 I just scribbled on there scribble scribble <laughs> She's so pretty. What color should we use for a skin? I'm going to use red. I'm, I'm going to use a palette for this though, I think. A bit neater. Um, I'm going to use 899. Welcome back, Lulu. Where did you go? Where did you go?
have a I just put some some of that 899 which is called redwood um, and I'm just gonna get some on my brush but I don't want it too strong but I don't want it too watered down how do you know I don't know you just try you give it a go <laughs> that might have been too much actually <laughs> you give it a go doesn't look right then you add water I'm going to rinse my brush. Hi, Marilyn. Uh, it depends on what kind of paper you, you use. I don't mind using this paper. It blends fairly well. I'm just going to um, soften the lines off with that just by using a bit of water on my brush. I'm just uh, going over the edges of that colour. So it depends on what paper you use. Some paper the lines don't blend really well. I find that uh, the Karen markers don't don't. Uh, don't blend out as well as these do. I think it just depends on the pigment most likely. Um, obviously <laughs> your uh, ink tents it's harder to draw on the paper because it's permanent so it just makes things a little bit more you know <laughs> finished I guess. <laughs> finished I guess. Oh, nice. Good, JD. Good. All right. Just going to add a little bit more color to it in here. I may have to get a smaller brush too. And also just do a hair a little bit. There's a bit of a shadow up here. Adding a little bit more to the shadowy areas. Oh, that was more than a little bit more. She's got tears now. <laughs> she has tears. Just blend that out a little bit. Definitely going to need to add some yellow and pink in here. So if you're doing uh, something else watercolory, this would be like just like a red brown shade. Looking good. Giving us a little bit of colour now. Just going to blend those edges again. Oh, thank you, Tara Lynn. Thank you. I'm not sure. I haven't tried any of the other cans and uh, thickness paper, though. So um, if you can't fit the 300 DSM through your printer, then maybe try one of the lighter, the lighter ones.
it's it's becoming something <laughs> it's becoming a face with some shading nice all right let's add a bit of pink in there um i'm gonna go with 803 maybe if i can find it they're supposed to be in color order but sometimes when i'm putting things away <laughs> it doesn't end up in color order <laughs> let's use this one um, 803 apparently it's called pink punch and this is one of the newer colors there was a few newer colors that came out more recently and this was one of those and I'm just gonna add this to her cheeks and the eyeshadow areas a little bit on her nose here On her lips, nippies, gonna have some nice pink and nippies. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the corner of her eye and just on the whites of the eyes a little bit. Add a little bit to this side of her cheek. Cute. Right. A bit of a clean, dr clean brush again, just nicely. Not too much water on it, but a little bit of water there to blend the edges out a little bit. Okay, let's go with an itch. I have an itch. <laughs> Nine one two. Um, hmm. uh, no, Sherry, but I did at one stage get uh, some translations done. Um, from Cool Craft Book, actually. She uh, was lovely enough to send me some stuff because that's where I got it from. Um, if I can find it, I'll uh, see if I can send it. If I can find it is, is the biggest thing. <laughs> um see if I can get it to you but uh, just adding that it was called pale cherry I'm just adding it all over her skin <laughs> and I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to just dab some of that color off there here, there a little bit I might have, it'll be look I'll try and do a dark color anyway you'll be able to see it oh thank you so much no problems Kevin thank you so much for joining us and watching for a bit <laughs> I only hope to do uh, this 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 beautiful image and book justice and uh, I thank you so much again for sending that to me beautiful <laughs> the pictures are lovely all right now I might just add a little bit of this down here on her arm and her neck as well so starting with the the 899 first the brown too much water on my brush Oh, Taryn Lynn, thank you. You're 
is such a sweetie. Hugs for Tara Lynn. Bye, Deb. No problems. We'll see you then. <laughs> Enjoy your sleep. hello welcome happy halloween everybody Aww. what is happening here hmm. have i got something else going on in the background there my mic's going crazy here today over <laughs> down on the arm down here Uh, making sure I just get all those shadowy areas. Yeah, right, I'm going to come in with the... What was this one again? Uh, 912 Pale Cherry. And I do believe that it's quite pink now, so I'm going to add something kind of yellow, I think, through here. No bleeding you. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. Might have to wait for that to dry. Okay, just smoothing up a couple of edges. Got a little bit more pink in there. The thing with watercolour is to just start light and just gradually build up to the darkest colour. You don't give her give her time to grow. <laughs> give her time. Now I'm gonna use peach, which is like a really pale colour. It's like a pale yellow. Uh it's number 20. Two zero. Your house is decorated. We didn't. We had one person knock on the door. Actually, one one group of children knocked on our door last night, and that was it. That was it. <laughs> but it doesn't surprise me. Like we don't celebrate here really in Australia. It's not really a a thing. <laughs> so, uh, but you know they've all got to try it because. Let's add a bit of yellow to her whole face. I think we'll let that dry now and uh, we might come back in with the darker colours again later and just redo her shadowy areas. Um, I'm just going to clean up a couple of bits there. And I do believe we could do some darker pink now in these cherry blossom things. So I'm just going to add that... Uh, 803 that we just used in the skin there. I'm just going to use that and add some to our little pink areas. And I think we might need to go even darker again. Just do 
enjoy it. The process as it goes. <laughs> what color shall I do next? <laughs> None of my pictures are very clear. Uh, there's like a dark kind of purpley pink. Maybe we'll use some 837. Hmm. <laughs> Let me find it. <laughs> I'm just like, what do I do next? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> 837, wine red. Nice. I think that would be perfect though. I just don't want that much water on my brush. No. Is that what I wanted? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, she says. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have to know. I just need to do it, right? Right. Up the top here. I can't really even zoom in because it's on my board today so I can't move my board around. Just scatter it around me. Looking good, yippers. I'm using Tombos, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> ah, thanks, Marie. Starting, it's looking, well, you know what, it might not end up beautiful, but you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll end up looking okay. If it doesn't, we'll just cover it with some, with some pastel and make it look better. I actually don't think I have a link for Tombow, so I'm sorry. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later I can find one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we missed some. We missed some dark colour in, the, in these ones. Right, let's just add a bit more on there. I think I might need a smaller brush now. I'm getting to the nitty gritty stuff. <laughs> Let's grab a smaller brush. Um, that one looks good. I don't know what it is. It's one of them. It's not a very good one. <laughs> the way I'm going, it's not a very good one, she says. There's like a dark grey shadow around this 
this one so I'm just going to cover up that that dark shadowy area I am waiting for a package today. I ordered some wool from Wool Warehouse in the UK. And uh, it got stuck in Singapore for a couple of days and it's now here in Australia. So I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, I ordered some more wool to finish my armor blanket that I'm doing. And uh, also I ordered a kit to see what that was like from another colour crochet along project so um, glutton for punishment <laughs> <laughs> oh Laura hello welcome cup of time no problems all right um Okay, I'm just going to use my wet brush here and just blend some of these edges off. I, I know you might not be able to see it on camera there. There's just some lines kind of around where I've put that colour down. So just going to try and blend them a little bit. Hope if I had a, a good brush that would do that, but this one's not doing so well. Oh, that one's a little better. A little firmer. The other one was a little bit soft. It wasn't really moving anything. All right, I need more pink, so I'm going to go in with that uh, eight, eight, uh, what is it, eight zero three. Oh, you got the Joanna book. Cool. Look, to be honest, I, I don't know whether to get it or not. I haven't really coloured a Joanna image since I first started colouring. How weird is that? You know what's funny? That's actually intimidating to me. <laughs> yes, I find something intimidating. I can't colour everything. I used to really enjoy colouring her images. Um... I feel like they should be, I don't know, maybe it's because I like the kind of realistic, or even though it's not really realistic, I don't know. I don't know, don't ask me, I'm just psychoanalyzing my, my, my brain right now. <laughs> I'm probably not doing a very good job either. Uh, that's funny. You love it? <laughs> you love it? Yes. Love is good. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Okay, what colours are there? 
you know what the leaves are a very similar colored but we're going to mix it up i think i'm going to mix the eight red wine red 837 with the red wood which was 899 just gonna mix that together and that's good that's good colors and uh, I'm gonna do the leaves and a bit wet We'll just do the branches with a light layer first. Remember, we've got to build up from light to dark. So, Too wet. Do, 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 do. I'm using the animation uh, anim, animation <laughs> animation J B stuff is cute, but I did. Too fiddly to colour. Now oh, that's a good idea, Marilyn. <laughs> On the train. <laughs> what am I saying about it? I'm saying that I find it intimidating. <laughs> I used to like colouring it, but uh, not so much anymore. I, I look at it and go, ah! You need it to look real, and it's not ever going to look real. It's funny, isn't it? Maybe I need to uh, uh, challenge myself. Nah. <laughs> nah. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Just popping a few lines through the, the colour that we had there. Don't have to be perfect, just some little twigs. <laughs> Make it kind of look like uh, cherry blossom, maybe. Brain goes, mm, yep, that's that's cherry blossom there in the background. It's all good.
Looking good. Oh, what's the time? An hour to go. That's fine. We can do it. We can. My opinion is if you like to colour that kind of thing, good on you. <laughs> um, and I don't think that, that there's anything wrong with the images. I think she's awesome artist and and as I said I've cut I used to color them all the time but for some reason now I just can't <laughs> well look you know what I say I can't but I haven't tried should be the words that I use there and that's okay everyone has their own you know thing All right, she's looking very nice, very nice. Um, I might have to use some gel pen, I think. These these little sections in here look like they're quite dark, but I think we'll, we'll wait. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to the lips, but I'm gonna use that uh, 837. I have um I have a lot of her books actually I think the last one I actually brought though was um the water one uh, that's the last time I colored in one of her books lips nip it is Bit of water there. Ah! And just blend the edges out. I coloured a, a page with a whole heap of like jellyfish and stuff on it. Um, that's the very last time I coloured a Joan of Aswin. <laughs> Scary! Caroline, no problems. Hi, Sarah. I missed you there. Did you sneak in? I didn't see sneaking in person there. Hello. <laughs> Where were you? Did, did, did I? Oh, there you are. A little high. <laughs> A little high in there. All right. Um, now I want to add some darker uh, color to this. So I'm going to stick with the darker side of that color mix we did, which was redwood, which is 899. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this in these shadows, darken them up a little bit. Add a little bit more depth in those. <laughs> I sneak you like you. No problem. I have Magical Jungle, Enchanted Forest, but I don't really colour in them, but there are a few images I really like in there. Hi, Laurie. Boo, Sarah. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, I coloured uh, one of the, the ocean ones. I, I don't remember the name of the book. Would you like to see it? 
Is that? Would you like to see the the color page that I did in the the last time I colored in the in a Joanna Basswood? was many many years ago probably about five years ago I don't know when the first when the book first came out that would have been when I did it I don't remember when it was first published I think it's called Lost Ocean yeah possibly possibly called Lost Ocean that's possibly it how are we looking remembering that it's watercolor I think we're doing all right. I'm just going to put some more of that uh, 8803 there. Just pop a few more spots of that in here. Just smudge those little sections out a little bit there. <laughs> Where was Emily? She would know. She would know. Lost Ocean. It is called Lost Ocean. And uh, it was published in 2015. This one. And I've done one singular page in this book. I'm going to tell you, it probably drove me nuts. <laughs> there you go. That's it. There's my picture. I wouldn't, it couldn't even tell you what I coloured it with either. A mixture. <laughs> so 2015 it was first published. Um, so how many years ago is that? Too long ago. Six years ago. <laughs> Fiddly stuff, exactly. <laughs> Marilyn's, yep, time. Tons of fiddly stuff. <laughs> ah, look, it's not perfect, but <laughs> come on, that's pretty good for six years ago. Um, now I'd look at it and go, ah, what are you doing to me? <laughs> no, no, no. I think I might do her hair purpley black. I know one of these does purpley black. Which one is it? That one, maybe. I've got um, N25. It's called Lamp Black. Um, I'm going to actually draw this on. Let's draw it on. I have no idea what colour this thing in her hair is going to be yet. Maybe pink. I think I need to add a little bit of green in here. I think I'll give her green eyes. Black hair and green eyes. Sounds good. Uh -huh, Barbara and it just takes me too long I think I just get I just me I'm just impatient I'm impatient 
I think if I was a little less impatient, <laughs> maybe I could do it. I mean, look, I've been doing this. Kenny gave me this beautiful Disney Disney book. And the pages, it's an A3 size, so the pages are big. And um, I'm still, like, I'm up to video six, I think, and I'm still trying to get through it. So much detail in it. I'd like to get it done. But at this stage, that's pretty detailed for me. I'm too much of a perfectionist, I think. <laughs> And I think you, over time, you develop like a style. And uh, perhaps I think my style is like quick and simple, you know. <laughs> Just simple, simple. much rather do a portrait <laughs> I don't know there's a couple of pictures in there that I really like and I would I would eventually like to do them and maybe one day I will probably not one I'd do on camera though because it would just take me too long I'd have to record it pre-record it you know I still have a extreme paint by numbers here that I have not finished. I've actually had a few comments on the video saying, have you finished this yet? Uh, no. <laughs> I need to, I know. <laughs> That was a boo boo. I accidentally scribbled on the middle of the light patch there. Weeks on an image, I work, parent, etc. So I like to, yeah, that's right. That's exactly right, Marilyn. I like to see a finished page. That's me. I'm busy with other stuff and I just, I want to see it finished. And also I know that uh, those following along want to also see theirs finished. So... As I said, I'm not saying I don't like them. I do like them. <laughs> and I'm always looking at them, like looking at people's pictures and going, oh, wish I could do that. I'm sure you guys do the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful wetting this now. Because uh, it's going over her skin as well.
I just colored over her collar. Dang it. Oh well, I'll have to, I don't know, I haven't decided what color I'd do that anyway, but I was thinking like a goldy color. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that in there now. I might be able to just sneakily pull some of that ink out. might be able to <laughs> thanks Michelle yeah mandalas are the same with me um, Barbara I'm the same Somebody asked me if I could colour a mandala once. I went, nope. Oof. Sorry. That not happening. But yes, I agree. Some beautiful stuff out there. I just don't want to personally do it. <laughs> Love to see finished ones. I'm not exactly sure what this thing is in her hair and then I'm not sure I'm not sure it's a thing a fringe thing I don't know I think there's some hair showing through and then there's I don't know <laughs> I don't know she says left a couple of patches with some highlights not many but a couple all right done <laughs> I can't do mandalas, drives me nuts. Thank you, Zuzu. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, where is my brush gone? Did it, oh, there it is. Did it roll away? I don't know. I missed a bit. Wait. I missed a bit. I'm just going to activate it. I don't know why I'm going to activate it, but I'm going to. Kind of got a blue color. That's pretty cool. Just going to flick from the edge down. Down. 
I just started watching uh, Stranger Things again and I was just thinking then when I was saying down but upside down. <laughs> pretty color. I'm just flicking into the light areas and it's kind of going like a blue kind of color. It's pretty. Pretty blue. I, uh, I haven't quite finished watching Squid Games but I started that on the weekend too and I cried no spoilers but if you've watched it you probably know which bit I cried at <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I'm like on the second last episode or something I don't know I don't know how many episodes there are And uh, Cam and I started watching Umbrella Academy. And uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's It's been good. So what do you think so far? That black hair was really so easy to do, wasn't it? <laughs> Just a bit of a scribble and a bit of a brush and we're done. I'm actually going to see if I can... Uh... Move some of that colour from there. Need a, a clean paper towel for dry one. And now I'm just going to soak a bit of water right there. And then pick it up. Oh, look, it worked. Because I went into her top. Gorgeous! Yes! Um, Umbrella Academy is, um, it was a little bit slow, but I still managed to watch it. Like, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm just going to flick a little bit of this out over her face there. Okay, and um, I think I will do her eyebrows with a marker. I'm going to use the Tri Plus, the Tri Plus, the Copic Multi Liner 0.5. Um, it's waterproof and ink proof, but. Let's just do these eyebrows.
the eyelashes. I'm going to do the colors of the eyes. I might actually zoom in on that. <clears throat> bum, 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 Alright, so let's do green. I think we probably could do a bit more color in your lips too. Green. Green. Wow. I dropped stuff. Uh, what number green? Let's go with three, seven, nine. <laughs> I mean, she's nowhere near done. We've still got heaps we could do. But I probably won't get it done in this session. And some green, nine, uh, th <laughs> two, nine, six. lips need to be darker too. A little bit more of that uh, wine red which was uh, what number was that again? 837 and then a little bit more of the uh, 8 Zero three in the lips there. And I think we'll put some white pen in there. I'm going to use some pen um, throughout, but before I do, I just noticed a couple of these don't have any colour in them. Just redoing them. This is where I'm going to have a problem. The black's going to start to run. 
Perhaps I should have waited till I was completely done with the flowers. <laughs> anyway, we're getting there. In your pink pajama, in your pink bathroom, I said pajamas. Where did that come from? I don't know. You know what? Maybe we'll make this thing green. I'm gonna use the two greens we used in the uh, eyes. So, jade green three seven nine and green two six nine two nine six. Sorry, my bad. There was a little thing in here, and I've coloured it over by accident. Oh well, it's done now. bit of the green just trying to be careful around the hair there trying to be look you know what if we were smart, we would have done this bit first, but no, we're not smart today. <laughs> we're just winging it. Favourite words. <laughs> Favourite words. I dropped some on her face. All right, itchy back, <laughs> itchy. Missed some of that tree there. Now this little thing here, I don't know, it looks like it's part of this thing here. So I think we'll do that green too. Uh, I'm going to add in the, the uh, 379 first. And because it's so close to the hair, I'm just going to scribble it in. And then use a little bit of water to blend it out a little bit. And then some green, which was uh, two six, 296. I keep saying the wrong number there, 296. A little bit of water.
I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> All right, let's do some of this carnation. No, let's not. Let's do red. There's no real reds in this set, so I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> we'll start with some crimson, uh, which is 847. Hopefully, this and the Chinese red, I think it is, the 856 would be red enough. We still probably end up with a pinky colour. <laughs> yep. So what's everyone been doing? Did everyone do any? Did everyone? Did anyone do any Halloween things? We had a little bit of cleanup from. wind blowing dust and everything under our pagola but uh, we just had a blind sort of come off a little bit and uh, our manhole roof cover thing kept banging around but it was so noisy uh, even if the power came back on well it actually did come back on fairly quickly but um it was just too noisy i couldn't have streamed anyway <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to hear hear me it was unbelievable there was like trees down everywhere. We saw my daughter on the Saturday and uh, when Cam picked her up there was like a BMW that had a tree smashed over it. There was about nine trees down in the street where she is. <laughs> it was great. But there was lots without power all day here. Yep, not sure what colour to do this other colour. I'm thinking black now. <laughs> now I started to colour it. I'm like, hmm, it's going to be hard to uh, separate from everything else. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Painting and laundry. Scarefest. Okay, what's Scarefest? Oh, Pennywise. <laughs> you finished your Munya skull? I saw that. Hi, hi, Selena. Um, what's Scarefest? Tell me, please. I need to know. I'm going to use some Chinese red. 'Everybody scribbling, everybody scribbling. Scribble, scribble, scribble. <laughs> scribble, scribble, scribble. this color down I'm looking at her skin and uh, it's really washed out now so I'm gonna use some pastels at the end to just darken up a couple of spots on her skin right. and those white lines they're just gonna be lighter than everything else that's what I've decided <laughs> hi Edie welcome you go through creepy houses. We got chased or killed by a man with a chain. Oh my gosh! Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, scary. I'm trying to figure out where to start here. I'm thinking just down here. look at that all of those light bits that I didn't color they're going pink and I really like it da -da -da. well that was kind of magic like those accidental mistakes winging it totally proves it doesn't it <laughs> Sometimes winging it has its advantages. <laughs> I 
Hallelujah, me too. It's slightly darker than the cherry blossom colour. Um, but only just. That pink is good. I love the way the watercolour kind of just, I don't know, it kind of just spreads out like a bit of a flower. You'll be able to see it uh, in, the, in the scan, but I'm just lightening this shoulder up a tiny bit. And that back shoulder there is a little bit lighter. I'm just going to... Try to get rid of that bleeding spot there. Now there's a few little spots in between here that have just got no colour at all. I'm just going to go in and just spread that colour around a little bit. All right, I need to add a little bit more of the brown. So we did uh, eight, three, seven, and So I can't really put much more on the skin watercolor wise because I'm gonna it's gonna smudge with the black and the, those colors but um, I do want to put a little bit more blue in this background bit here I'm just gonna see if I can scribble some down here because it's just disappeared now with the red there I'm just going to use my, I don't know, medium size brush. Figuring, <coughs> excuse me, figuring what out on your own? bit of colour in here.
looks good. All right, let's add some details. First of all, we're going to add some little details in the um, flowers. I have a black Posca somewhere. Um, let me find it. Helps if it uh, actually, I might start at the top here. Look at this black everywhere. black dots Just going to make that dry a little bit. <laughs> I used the shadow. I actually went dark to light for the skin. Um, I did dark first and then went in with the other tones. I'm just going to use a jelly roll. I just split my lip. <laughs> I'm just going to use a jelly roll pen and do some little lines for the middle bit there. I'm not even really doing much in these middle bits, just making it kind of got some darker ones and some lighter ones here. Make it all right. Uh, ooh, pan pastels. Oh no, Loretta, you didn't miss the whole thing. It's okay. We nearly done. I was gonna just stop, but I'm I'm almost done now. So I'm just gonna add some uh, palette pastels, Jane Davenport palette pastels. Uh, I'm going to add, I don't remember what the name of the colours are, Bay. Only because I can't add any more water in here, it would just smudge that black out too much. So, I'm just going to do it with my palette pastels.
She needs a little bit more shape on her chin. A little bit of what's this one here? Dream boat. What's this one up here? Let's go with some pinky promise. Uh, I think I need something a little bit darker. What's this one? Game face. Put a reflectism there. I think that's good. That's good. And uh, I got uh, bling. Bling bling. And what's this one? Whisper. That'll do. Maybe some darker bay down here as well. On her arm. Bit of depth there across the sleeve. But only because I think that the watercolour kind of faded some of that out a little bit. And uh, hopefully now it's got a little bit of colour in it. It's not quite as dull as it was a second ago. <laughs> She's pretty. Messing it up, hey Michelle? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Loretta. Well, you can go back and watch it. We did watercolor in the end, um, and a tiny little bit of pastel there. But look, it's not. I don't think it's extremely detailed, but it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, I should probably get my heat gun out here. But it's actually fairly warm in here. This is going to be the strangest summer yet, I think, for us here in Australia. It's uh, been wet and muggy already. And the weather is just getting warmer and warmer. Nope. I might need my gun. a little bit that didn't but a uh, big thank you again to Kevin uh, to your art for this beautiful image and uh, for the book love it there and now I have then 
two, three, and four <laughs> done out of this book. I think that's the most I've done in a book for a long time. <laughs> Oh well, guys, um, for patrons, I will put up a a colour list at some stage, so if you're wanting to follow along, you can. And um, I will see everybody very soon. Uh, Friday, we're going to start a new colour along. Yep, I'm going to do a colour along. Uh oh, it's been uh, a couple of months. We haven't done one in a few months, so um, we're going to be colouring. Let me find the image. The lovely Monia Gates. And we're going to be colouring this one. It's from, I think it's Tash, is how you pronounce it. It was a February image quite some time ago, but um, I've always wanted to colour it and I thought we'd do it for a colour along. So we'll start that on Friday. So I'll set up the event uh, today, tomorrow actually. Um, and uh, you guys will have the info there. The image is already on special, so if you're wanting to grab it for then, you can. Um, but until I put up the info, yeah, that's it. Anything else uh, that anyone wants to ask quickly before I go? Thank you so much for being here, Lulu. Thank you. Pamela's like, yay, a colour along. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, I hope to see you all there. And patrons, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Again, thank you so much to Kevin for this beautiful image. If you do want to grab the book, uh, the details are under the event here. Oh, Cam just got back. He missed you all. Oh, bummer. I just heard his car pull up. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you did too. We, um, we had some fun and we just used Tombow markers. So uh, I will scan it up so you can see the finished product, but it looks all right. It looks all right. It looks all right. Some of it we did wing a bit, but you know. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.